Welcome to the super cool lineup of automotive air conditioning lubricants. Let's look at a few important points. Always use the proper type and viscosity oil as recommended by the OEM and never exceed OEM recommended system capacity. Most lubricants are susceptible to moisture, so always place the cap back on the bottle immediately after use, especially if storing partial bottles. Always use hybrid oil for hybrid and electric compressors. And always use 1234YF specific compressor lubricant in 1234YF systems. To access the proper viscosity and fill rate for your vehicle on the Supercool website, follow these steps. Go to supercool.ac. Click on the Automotive tab in the upper left-hand corner. Click on the Resources tab. Click on the Lubricant Specification Guide. Enter the year, make, and model for your vehicle. When replacing an AC compressor, keep in mind many compressors today are shipped loaded with oil in them. Often, this is low-quality shipping oil. In cases of low-quality shipping oil, we recommend you drain and discard the shipping oil. Then, charge the system with fresh oil that meets or exceeds OEM performance specifications. When opening an AC system to replace a compressor and or other system component, the oil balance method is a commonly used guideline. Please note, the oil balance method is only a guideline to be used when replacing individual components. When adding oil to the system, never exceed the OEM recommended system capacity. When replacing the compressor, remove the old compressor from the vehicle. Drain the oil from the old compressor and measure the amount of oil that was drained out. If you determine the new compressor is loaded with shipping oil, then remove and discard the shipping oil from the new compressor. If more than two ounces of oil was removed from the old compressor, then add back in the exact amount of oil that was removed. If less than two ounces of oil was removed from the old compressor, add back in two ounces of oil. When replacing the accumulator receiver dryer, add back in one to two ounces of oil depending on overall system capacity. When replacing the condenser, add back in one ounce of oil. When replacing the evaporator, add back in one ounce of oil. When replacing hoses, add back in one half ounce of oil. Please remember to always use the proper type and viscosity oil as recommended by the OEM and never exceed total system capacity. For more information, visit www.supercool.ac.